I've had a few people ask me what are the best scales to use in heavy metal for soloing and lead. So I'm going to show you some of the ones which I think are the bestest. So I'll show you the scales, then I'm going to record a riff and play the scale and a little example over the top of it so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, I'm playing the riff in drop D, but I'm going to play the scale in standard tuning just so that you can see where the scale would be played. So here's the riff that I'm going to be using. Okay, so it's in the key of D minor because this is in drop D. If you don't know about drop tunings, I have a video that explains it. Here. So, the chords in the riff are D, F, E, D, C, D. All of those are in the key of F. Then I'm going to play this one, which is just a B flat 5 with an added 9. And then this one, which is a G5 with an added 9. So, all of the riff is in the key of D minor. So, now I'll show you the scales. So the first scale is a D minor scale. The reason I'm using D minor is because the riff is in D minor. If the riff was in B or E, you'd use a B minor or an E minor. So here is the scale. Now I know technically you're supposed to finish on the note that is the uh, relative to the scale, but I'm playing three note per string scales here. So we've got 10, 12, 13. 10, 12, 13. 10, 12, 14. 10, 12, 14. 11, 13, 15. 12, 13, 15. So again, that's 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 14, 10, 12, 14, 11, 13, 15, 12, 13, 15. And here's an example of how that would work over the top of that riff. Next up is a harmonic minor, which is the same scale except as a sharp 7. So that's 10, 12, 13. 10, 12, 13. 11, 12. 10, 12, 13. 11, 12. 9, 10, 12. 10, 11, 14, 10, 12, 13. Next up is the minor pentatonic scale, which most people will know. So that's 10, 13, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 13, 10, 13. And now let's have a listen to that.
next up is a blues scale, which is the same as a minor pentatonic, but it has a diminished fifth in it as well. <laughs> That's 10, 13, 10, 11, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 13, 10, 13, 10, 13. 10, 13. So one more time, 10, 13, 10, 11, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 13, 10, 13, 10, 13. And now let's listen to that over that riff. So now we have a Phrygian mode and we're going to play that in D as well. So this is the same as the minor, but it's got a flattened second. Okay, so that's going to go 10, 11, 13, 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 14, 11, 13, 15, 11, 13, 15. So again, 10, 11, 13, 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 14, 10, 12, 11, 13, 15, 11, 13, 15. And now we listen to that scale. So next we have the relative major. So D minor is the minor from the key of F major. Okay, so the way you find that, you count up six notes from the um, minor, from the major scale, which is F, G, A, B, C, D. And that's how you find the minor. From the minor, count up a minor third. And that will give you the relative major. So the scale, um, we can play it in various different places, but we're going to play it here. So we're going to play on the A string. We're going to play 8, 10, 12. 8, 10, 12. 9, 10, 12. 10, 11, 13. 10, 12, 13. We can also play it here. If you play a three note per string scale, you play 13, 15, 17. Sorry. And again, 13, 15, 17. 14, 15, 17. 14, 15, 17. 15, 17, 18. 15, 17, 18. Okay, so if you wanted to come down from here, so you can also play 12, 10, 8 on the bottom E string. But then we're into C Mixolydian territory, which is a different mode. But if you wanted to finish it down on the bottom string, then that's where you'd go, 8, 10, 12. So let's have a listen to that one over that riff. Some other things that work well are the derivative modes from the same scale. So, for example, we're in the key of F major because D is the relative minor. So any of the modes from the scale of F, which are derivative from there, will work over this riff. If you're not sure how to find derivative modes, have a look at this video. A minor 7 arpeggio, so D minor 7. 
Okay, this works really well because it's the actual, if you're playing in that scale, it's the arpeggio that fits over the top. So we've got 10, 13, 12, 10, 12, 10, 10, 13, 10, 13. Okay, so let's have a look at that one over that riff. major arpeggio. Okay, so this works really well because it's the major arpeggio that's in the same key. So again, there's various different ways of playing this. So we're going to play it here. So we're going to play 8 on the A string. Then onto the D string, we're going to go um, 7, 10. On the G string, 9, 10. 10 on the B string, so. then we're going to come up to, um, you can either play the 8 on the E string, then 10, uh, 12 and 13, so that's 8, 7, 10, 9, 10, 8, sorry, 10, 8, 12, 13, that's one way of playing it, we've got 8, 7, 10, 9, 10, 10, 13, 12, 13, or you've got 8, 12, 10, 9, 10, 10, 13, 12, 13. Okay, so there are various different ways of playing this, um, but let's have a listen to it now and see how it sounds. <laughs> 